Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, we did some things and bred a Thestial and we had a Thestial baby and we learned some stuff. And in this one, something interesting has happened. We have three different things to speak to Sebastian about. He's in the Undercroft. Uh, he is at the Overlook. And, oh, we just got a letter about the Overlook, actually. So there's only two. So we're, we're going to go and see Natty first who's outside the divination classroom which is up here uh, of course it is how do we get up there then nice if you could uh, let us fast travel up there game please there we go and then we'll go see what Sebastian wants see if we can cover but uncover both of these things in this episode I don't know whether we will these could end up going on for a little while but ideally they'll be relatively short ones right Rebellion. Uh, where's my bit of paper? Oh, it's telling me to go this way? I thought we were going up to the divination classroom. Hmm. Maybe we need to go down to go up. The winding corridors of Hogwarts. Excuse me. Coming through. As it turns out, that flu network would have been better. Oi, can you help me? No, I'm busy. I've done enough helping people to last me a lifetime, bro. But I'll probably come back to you at some point in the future, maybe. I'll add you to the list. Please take a number. I'll get to you eventually. Oh my goodness. How far away were we? Literally the other side of the world. Oh, shut up, peeves. How does one get rid of ghosts? Can I have a ghost disappearing charm? Ah, here we go. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She Lit. berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, Father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. 
My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Was that it? Okay, well that seems a bit of an odd side quest to be on. I guess we're just learning a little bit uh, for something potentially in the future. So... And we need to talk to Poppy again now. We're going to go and see Seb in the Undercroft, uh, if I can remember how to get to it. Is the Undercroft one of the secret rooms I can get to? No, room of requirement is... How do I get to the Undercroft? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> um... It's down there. I think there's a flu network near it, but I, it's not letting me uh, zoom in on it. Oh, this, the, Hogs, well, the Hogwarts map is awful. The world map's not so bad. I've got used to that now. And the Hogsmeade map's not so bad, but the Hogwarts one's terrible. <laughs> I guess it's such a big castle, it would be very difficult to lay out the map in 3D. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's not easy. Right, where we going, little book? Take me there, field guide. It'd be handy if we could, like, in our room of requirement, open up doors to the places we need to go to, like one that pops out in Hogsmeade, one that pops out in the Undercraft and the, and the Map Chamber and all those sorts of things, but uh, I guess that would make life a little bit too easy. Hey, Seb. You'll never believe what I... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I regret using Crucio. Well, we haven't used it. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Hmm. Okay. Don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ooh. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Mmm. I am not letting this go. Really? Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I would agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Mm. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a mm. lot. Hmm. Okay, right. Well, that's that little quest over. Good. Right, let's go and see about a poached egg then. We'll go and talk to Poppy. Again in Hogsmeade. 
Where are you this time in Hogsmeade? You're over there, right next to that flu network. That's very useful, Poppy. Good job. Let's have a look, shall we? Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Oh, you said something different this time. Got to wait. Okay. It's not like her to forget. What's going I on, Puppy? Waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Let's do this. Let's go return a dragon's yeah. egg. Oh, I oops. do think this is where Wait. we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Okay, on foot it is. Oh, Revelio. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. So are you saying we need to go invisible? One foot in front of the next and quiet as can be. Oh, I hear a dragon. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. As I say, I don't remember seeing a collar on her. And we just need to get close and give her this egg. Got egg for you, bro. Wonder if dragons can see invisible people. Her egg. Uh. What? Oh, it's just a bird. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays up. Oh. Some doggies to deal with. And some loot. Ah, hawk lump juice. Fantastic. We definitely need a bunch of that for our potions. Lovely, lovely. Let's see if we can sneak up on one of these dogs. The can. I <laughs> love the way his tail goes up in the air. Uh -huh. Where are you, Smithy? I thought you were joining us in Borneo, but I know you have your hopes about fight the fighting ring, but the... Oh, my goodness. Uh, basically, yeah, you want to be worried about the spiders. with each other. From a distance. I don't know, pet dragon sounds good. She might remember us. Revelio. I spy with my little eye something beginning with five finger discount. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Uh, 
There's a Welsh joke in there somewhere, but uh, I shouldn't make it. Watch your step. I've got a feeling we're going to find bad guys in a minute. Ooh. Starve to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. Revelio's not showing us any bad guys. Quiet, what was that? This looks like some sort of fighting place. Tells us we've got to fight the dragon. Got your egg. Get past the dragon. Go. Got past it, mate. Rebellion. Oh, she isn't making it easy. Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. Can't give her more wig and weld potions. Oh, it's okay. It's potions. That's fine. Don't need potions. I don't suppose she listens to reason. Now, now we need potions. I just need to get these slugs. Never know when you need a slug. The leech. Ah, it's a slug, mate. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is Prepare every bridge here broken? Probably because there's a dragon flying around, smashing them all to bits. I would imagine. The fact that you've just said that makes me think as we run across here it's gonna get smashed. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. There you go, dragon face. Brought it back for you. Do you, do you recognize this act of kindness? I think that was a thank you. Touch your nose. That's it. You're welcome. unharmed creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again shall we head back i'm ready if you are I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let the jinx lie. in it. Unless I don't believe in jinx, what? but you are. Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Hmm. She's realized something. Poachers have a different way of getting to us, I, I presume. Perhaps they're amassing an army to take on Hogwarts. 
I doubt it. How could I have been so blind? Roach is dumb. You gonna are you gonna let me in on your little secret that you think you know? Or no, you're just gonna okay. Fine. Yay, level twenty-eight. And I see you. So that means then we will have unlocked a new talent. Fantastic. Which means we can get the second to last one of these. What have we got here? Basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to the ancient magic meter or enemies struck with stupefy remain stunned for longer. We'll have that one next. Fantastic. I believe we also, while we're here, we need to go speak to our wand guy because he is being slow. I want to know what it is that's causing him to be so slow. Perhaps it's the fact that, uh, you know, we haven't haven't done anything in a while. Where would it be? I can't remember which one it is. Is it Splint Witch's Sporting Needs? Yeah, I think it's that one. Maybe there's a side quest we just haven't uncovered that, that would trigger it, but I feel like we've done... We've been on it with the side quests. Uh, we got a message, another message from Poppy. I have some promising news about the location of our... Oh, we've done that one. Already done it, Poppy. So have we got any more? We got that guy in the thingy that he wanted us to go do that thing, but I can't see any of these ones helping us continue with the broom thing. So, yeah, let's go and find out what's going on and figure out why we haven't had our next upgrade yet, unless I've just missed it. Maybe he did. Maybe he sent us a mail, mail, mail saying, come back and get your next upgrade, and I just didn't see it. Or oh, I forgot. Hey, bro. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? I want my upgrade. And I want to sell you some junk. Don't want it. Don't want it. Don't want it. Don't want it. Are these any good? No, don't want it. Is that any good? Uh, it's not bad. I'll keep that one. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Huh. How strange. Maybe it's uh, tied into the main quest line then. But it just feels like it's been so long. I mean, it's not impossible I need to do more of the broom things, but you would think that would come up in here somewhere. But these, are all, these are all the ones we've done. Wow, we've done a lot. Jeez, we've done a lot. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, we've probably got time to do this one. I don't want to do a main one. I don't think we've got time to start a main one uh, now, but we can uh, we can potentially go and sort out these spiders. Spiders that have taken over the town or the village or the hamlet or whatever it was. Just spiders. This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's one. I find one. Bombarda. Expelliant. Defender. Bombarda. Defender. Expelliant. Ain't no popping up out of the ground, guys. Cheating. Hmm. Bombarda. They can jump a long way when they do their attack. That was a good job. Well done throwing it all the way over there. 
Have a pillow. Keep your eye on the ground as it starts wobbling as they come out, I guess. I should really use my uh, defensive thing rather than the dog dodge roll all the time as well, because then I can actually do some damage with them and that. Here we go, see? So, there could be another wave. Hello, Hamora. A bit of stealing before we go. What do we have here? <laughs> this must be Mary. Poor woman. I've delivered the spider venom as requested. Prompt payment is now due. The new cluster of spiderlings in my cellar workshop have almost hatched. I can provide more venom soon. Once, of course, I've been compensated for the last delivery. Who's breeding these things in her cellar? Oh that means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Destroy every last spider? Sounds good to me. As long as we're well compensated, of course. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, though, before we do that. Before we do that, we need to go to the map. We need to rest if it'll let us. It will. No, that's not what I want to do. Goodness. Game. There, that's what we want. Mine now, then, me, guys. We can get that. Nice. If there was one just there. All right, spiders underground. How do we get underground then? We break through some of these things. Bombarder. Ooh. Aha, here we go. Mary Portman's cellar. Now, is she going to have some sort of giant underground cellar under her house? It's telling us we should be uh, putting Mary on higher level spiders, stuff. They're not here now. It won't be. Revelio. There'll be a secret bit. I take this the money. Spider. These spiders have gone somewhere. But where? But how? That this ladder, ladder, of course. Not sure I want to know where this leads. I'd best Spider be town. I may find down there. Rebellion. Hmm. Oh. Exacts. I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. Okay, so we're going to need Confringo back on. Uh, let's have, let's go to our other menu, put Confringo there. Oh, we haven't used our transformation thing. That could be interesting to use. Uh, we'll give it a try. We'll put transfa transformation on there. Oh, no, no. Confringo! That's one exact destroyed. I should get the rest. We turn it into a barrel. That was pretty cool. Not really helping us defeat these spiders, though. Do to get out of here. Expelliarmus. 
Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Confringo! These eggs must be destroyed. Revelio. There's lots and lots and lots of egg sacks. <laughs> Jeez. And she had a whole bunch of stuff as well. Oh, hello. Don't do it again. You're a barrel. Oh, it doesn't kill them. It just turns them for a moment. Okay. That's a bit of a shame. Seems, seems a little bit pointless then, really. Hmm. Revelio. Right, where's these uh, spider sacks at? I don't know the best way to go here. Nope. Nope, okay, we can't go through that way. That's fine. That's on the other side. Of course it is. I can break walls with Accio, apparently. I wasn't expecting that. I hate to think that they see me, but I don't see them. <laughs> Good friend. Revelio. Confringo. We got a bunch of spiders in here, guys. It's not bad. Turning them into something. At least it kind of stuns them for a reasonable amount of time. You do seem to get a lot more damage when you're using the uh, combos as well. Leviosa is a is a good one to have. I need to destroy all of the egg sacs. Bombarda. I can get rid of them Good with Bombarda. That's quite useful. Yeah, I'm tempted to put Leviosa on our, uh, our main wheel instead of the push one. Let's try that. Let's uh, let's pop that on there. And uh, um, instead of having it on that one, we'll have push on there. Yeah, we get on with these. Revelio. Really good. Go on, do it again. You're a barrel. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Confringo. Rebellion. Oh, I didn't see that there. Finally found the perfect place to brood my spider, Connolly, and I was quite literally under my nose the whole time. My cellar! Why didn't I think of this before? Why hasn't anyone for that matter? My spiders are growing big and strong, and the silk they produce will make me a fortune. I'll have wealth at last. No more scrimping on frocks when I'm in town. It'll be marvellous. I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding spiders. Oh. 
You're a barrel. Oh yeah, these, this move set for dealing with spiders is great. Revelio. Did I miss a chest over there? Did I miss that? I hope that's the last spider. Oh, okay, we got a big old spider. Not the biggest spider we've dealt with. Let's see if we can find that last chest. Ah. Revelio. There it is. Bombarder. Huh. The door closed. Nice. Rebellion. I think we've got rid of all the egg sacs now. I'm assuming we're still going to have to fight a big spider. Oh, wait. That's the last one. There we go. She's angry. Of course she's angry. Got an, a blit, the insatiable spider. She's really dead though. Really? That was like the easiest spider we fought. That's easy the easy ones. Yeah, after we did that giant spider on the uh, the house elf mission, that, that really didn't seem that bad at all. Okay. Are we done? Have we completed the area? Feels like we've picked everything up. They normally give you a secondary exit to get out quicker, but I guess we've got to go all the way back to the beginning. Hmm. Okay, not a problem, not too far. Picked up all the loot, so that's good. I suppose we could just fast travel to the... Uh, the Hogsmeade, but it is telling us to go this, to, this way. So, we'll see. There we go. Yeah. Okay, let's go see the chap in Hogsmeade, give him the good news. And then jobs are good. Un.
I really thought that was going to be a harder fight. That was really easy. And we killed the big one before even any of the little ones even yeah, got to us. Which is odd. Here you go, bud. We did it. Done. Thank Merlin. I'm so sorry. Poor Mary. She truly... She didn't deserve... I am sorry. Do we get a reward? I imagine the foot. That's the. Thank you again for. Glad I could be of help. No. To dearly departed Mary. I guess we get a bit of XP and all of the loot that we gathered while we were there. So uh, it's not the end of the world, is it? Right. Uh, we do definitely need to finish this episode. However, before we do, I think I shall give you all a treat and head back to Hogwarts to the Room of Requirement and go see our little baby things that are, should now have been born. Uh, so let's... Uh, I want that one. And that one. It looks like that's where it wants us to go anyway. Yeah, we want to go go see our babies. We should have a baby Niffler, if I remember. We should have a baby... What was the other things I bred? I can't remember. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Job and all in here. Where is it? Baby job and all, there it is. It's so small. Let me give you a brush. We haven't got any food, do you? Oh. There you go, have some food. Nice, okay. Let's go see the other thing that we bred. I think, I'm sure it was a Niffler. A Niffler offspring, there it is. Let's summon it. There it is. Hey, little guy, do you want some food? It's so small. Have a brush. Oh, tickle your belly and give me your fur. Thank you very much. Right, peeps. Of course, that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.